Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Today, I wanted to take you down to the Yangon River along the Myanmar Industrial Port Terminal Number One. What you're seeing coming down here is the largest ship that's able to transit through the river up into a container loading port inside Yangon. It's 15,000 ton dead weight, and this is actually the largest size ships that can move in and out of that port there. Terminal One claims to have 240 inspectors on site as well as a total yard and terminal area of 380,000 square meters and a storage capacity of 32,000 TEUs. You can clearly see written on the vessel Noble Breeze. So a quick look on the internet into vesselfinder.com brought me to the master data sheet which you can see here. Notice the last ports of call from this ship, Malaysia, Singapore and Sri Lanka. That is a feeder line that's coming out of Myanmar going into some larger uh, type vessels that can take on 60,000 tons and then go directly across the ocean. There's really nothing that transships or just ships directly from Myanmar to, say, the United States. It always stops in Singapore or Kuala Lumpur first. The next images I wanted to show you, I took myself early over a couple of mornings while I was in the Yangon before my meetings. Let the images roll themselves so you can take a look here and see what's on the ground exactly. There's a lot of conjecture. You know, Myanmar is moving forward with the development. What type of infrastructure is in play right now? What type of construction is really happening there versus what is said will happen? This is an actual eye on the ground view for you. As well, you can see through Google Earth here that I put up what it might look like. At the last couple of images here, this is actually the front of the port. There's a lot of security around there. I was chased off several times. And then I was informed by a nice gentleman who came out and said, oh, we actually give tours through the port. You just have to call this telephone number, make an appointment, and then come on in and we can show you around. Personally, I didn't have the time. I'm off visiting some of our customers and having meetings all day. But if you do have a few hours spare, you might want to think about jumping in there and taking a look to see what they have. This is David Dubine for the Myanmar Living Channel.